chosen ones where you are where you are where you are where you are chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video right great chosen one yes this is an urgent message from god to you this is about your faith i'm telling you chosen one it is driving your haters your enemies so crazy it is making things happen it is changing things in your life oh yes chosen one yeah have you heard of this story where there were there was a paralyzed man and this man was paralyzed for days and when he heard that jesus christ was in a nearby town teaching preaching he called on four of his friends and told them my friends i want you to take me to where jesus is so his friends get some mat and some stick they place him on it and they carry him on their shoulders and as they went there was a very large crowd yes the queue was so great and you know the four friends that were carrying this man were very tired their shoulders were hurting their back were hurting their legs were very tired and you know they they were so tired they, they they were about to give up but this paralyzed man on the mats wasn't willing to give up he's never a person that gives up so he he didn't even have the thought of giving up so he came out with an idea okay now that there are so many people and the line the queue is so huge and it's not going to get to our ten so soon and i could see you guys are tired let's do this put me on top of the roof use me to yes pass me through the top of the roof and the friend said is that so so they said okay so they went on top of the building make a hole through the roof and as jesus was preaching in the middle of the sermon as they, they look up they see they've seen that oh the ceiling is shaking and things begins to drop so everybody was eager to know what was going on so they all lift their eyes up and were watching and all of a sudden as the hole was created through the roof and through the ceiling they passed strings with wood and a mat holding the paralyzed man the paralyzed man was lying on the mat and they quick they, they, they gently keep dropping keep lowering the string the thread the rope down 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 boom to jesus feet the exact place where jesus was standing and preaching the man was placed at his feet and jesus saw everything and as the scripture says in that book of mark chapter 2 verse 5 is it when jesus saw their faith look at that when jesus saw their faith he was so pleased and indeed the man was healed because of their faith yes chosen one that is my question to you what faith are you applying what faith are you putting behind as a chosen one you need to put actions behind your faith and that is what makes things happen just like the paralyzed man and the four friends did they did something extraordinary to attract god's attention god knows what you want god knows what we want god knows our need god knows everything yes because he's omnipresent omnipotent omniscient he sees and knows everything and he's all powerful he's everywhere he knows everything that we're going through he knows what we want he knows what we need yet he wants us to apply faith in getting whatever we want because the economy of god never runs dry maybe the economy of your country things are hard things are tough the, you know the, 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 the political system the government and stuff the, 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 you know things are hard and we all know that yes we are not in normal times things are hard 
But I tell you, the economy of God never runs dry. Things may be hard in your country, but the economy of God never runs dry. Yes. And the source to which all visible wealth flows from, comes from, is never depleted. It never runs dry. And it responds to each and everyone's fate. The fate that we put on it. The demand we place on the anointing. Right? That is what makes it happen. That is what turns things around. What fate are you putting in? Are you putting some extraordinary action behind your fate? Yeah? It is not just about your fate. You need to put action. Actions. Faith goes with action. Scripture tells us and made us understand that faith without action is dead. When you have faith, you're going to make a move. When you have faith, you're going to take an action. The paralyzed man and the four friends took action. They did something that nobody has ever done. They did something that everyone that was there wasn't doing it. And that was what made them attract God's attention. That was what made them to be known. That what was what got them to be healed. Yes, to someone. At that time, not everyone that was with Jesus were healed. It were people that were applying some extraordinary source of faith and action. These were the people that the Lord, I mean, get moved by the action that they took and something incredible happened in their life. Something impossible was made possible in their life and it, it was made happen. Yes, chosen one. Life is about putting action behind your faith in God. Yes, that breakthrough that you want, what extraordinary thing are you doing? You need to go the extra mile. You need to commit to 100%. You need to stay focused. You need to be, you sacrifice some time, some extra hours and put it into it. And that is what will make it happen. I'm telling you. Are you battling some addiction? That is the same way. It is the action that you put behind the faith. You can pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. When things are not happening, you back your faith with action. You take action. And when you take action, I tell you, it will attract the attention of God. No wonder in, in the scripture in that book of Hebrews chapter 11, you know, down there, somewhere in that book, Hebrews chapter 11, God says, the word of God says, among all graces, it is faith that pleases God the most. Chosen one, where is your faith? Your faith is what changes things. Your, your faith is what breaks things. Your faith is what keeps you going. Your faith is what makes you persevere. Your faith is what makes you forbear. Your faith is what makes you trust the process. Your faith is what makes you to be patient, to be consistent, to, be, to persist, to persevere. Your faith is what makes you keep going to the end. Your faith will never make you give up. And when you back it with action, I'm telling you, you become unstoppable. Things turn around. Your enemies and haters, they get devastated. They get confused. They will hate you the more because you are doing something extraordinary to receive an extraordinary ordinary blessings of God. Yes, to someone. That's it. Let's say you're battling some addiction. Right? You need to put action and you're praying. Oh God, help me break this addiction. All you need to do is to place some action. Is to put some action behind that, such prayers. And that is what is going to make it happen. I know of someone who one time emailed me. The person said, oh, I've been playing with myself. Master Paul, I've been playing with myself for years. And I can play with myself in a day like seven times. Yes, the person will put his meat into his own hands and be playing with himself. 
And in fact, the person sent me a picture of what is happening. You will see there is bruises on the person's sausage. There is bruises on the stick of the person. There is bruises all over. There is pain. The person was going through pain. And the person was telling me, I've been praying to overcome this, but I couldn't. How do I overcome? And I told the person, this is what you do. You see, you, you are used to it. So you cannot just stop it once. It is just like you driving a car at a top speed on a high gear, right? You go in feet. You put your gear on feet and you go in. You accelerate and you go in. And all of a sudden, you want to apply brake and stop. You know, there is going to be tear and wear. There is going to be something dangerous that is going to happen. So what do you do? You keep, I mean, dropping down the GS one by one from feet to fourth, from fourth to third, from third to second. All right? And gradually, you apply the brake and boom, the car is going to stand without shaking, without any movement, all right? Without any accident or something, without causing any tear and wear. That is the same way. If you are going through some addiction, some habit that you want to break, you cannot just get up and break it. What you need to do is to take one step at a time. It is step by step thing. You see, you didn't learn that thing, that thing that it didn't just happen one day. It was gradual processes. It was actions you keep taking day and day and day and day in and day out. That becomes the habit. So that is the same way if you want to break that um, bad habit. It is not going to take one day to break it. It's going to take a gradual process. The way up is the way down. That test that you climb to build that addiction, that is the same way you descend. When you are descending, it is one step at a time. That is what most people don't get. Most people want to change themselves in a day. Most people just want things to happen. Broom. No. Sometimes you will pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. When nothing happens, all you need to do is to keep taking one step at a time, one action at a time, one action at a time to keep on. I mean, to help you overcome whatever you're going through. So I told this guy that what he got to do is in a week, he should try and stay clean just a day. And when he's able to do that, then some other week he tried to stay clean two days off. And when he tried and he succeed with the two days, some other day he should try three days. Some other week he should try four. Some other week he should try five. Some other week he should try six. Day clean. Some other week he should try seven days. And you realize that within a week, if you aren't able to, you, you're not doing it, right? Then you stick to that. So it's, it's, it's a gradual process, step by step, step by step, step by step. And he took the advice. And I tell you, it has helped him break that addiction of playing with himself. Playing with himself. <laughs> he has stopped that. You see, so that is it. Maybe your own is taking alcohol or taking um, cigarettes, you know, something you, you, you don't like, you want to quit, you want it to stop. You've been doing it every day. Try to stay one day off to just be clean, to be sober, all right? And look at how, how the feeling is going to be like. And when you are able to do one day, okay, in a week, that is okay. It's an effort. God knows how you're trying to change. And when God has seen that you are putting some actions behind the faith that you have in him, then boom, he joins forces with you and makes it happen so quickly. I'm telling you, where there is a will, there is a way. And definitely, you are going to succeed so faster. Where there is a will, there is a way. And you are going to succeed faster. That is it. Take that. Where there is a wheel, there is a way. And definitely, you are going to succeed much more faster than you can ever think of if you don't give up. So it takes 
gradual process. People don't get this. The thing to change is going to happen in a jiffy. It's going to happen just in a day, just overnight. There is no success overnight. It takes discipline. It takes you deciding and staying focused and doing it bit by bit, little by little, one step at a time. One step at a time. And before you realize, you will stop it. Maybe you're taking cigarettes. That is your addiction. You want to stop. You've been taking one pack a day. Try. If you've been taking one pack a day, try. If you take, just leave like two packs, three. Just leave like two sticks or three sticks in, in the box without taking it. And that is how you keep disciplining yourself. And you keep increasing it day in, day out, day in, day out. So you realize you will keep reducing the amount that you've been taking, little by little, little by little, and before you know, boom, that addiction will be gone. You're going to stop it. You'll be shocked. You'll be astonished how it happened. That is how it is. Remember when you started. Okay, let's say you, 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 you want to learn smoking. You didn't just start by taking one pack in a day. It happened. One, before later you realize, oh, you need, you need to go high the more, and you took two, and you took three, and you keep increasing, and a day you can, I mean, finish one box. So that is the same way if you want to quit. If you want to break away from that, you take it one step at a time. All right? And I tell you, faith, back by action, becomes something that is unstoppable. I'm telling you, it is unstoppable. And... You know, you, when, when, when you ap apply this in your life, you will be able to break from whatever that you are going through as a chosen one. And your enemies will become disturbed, will become worried. I'm telling you, the power to change yourself has been given to you. The power to make things happen has been given to you and I. We are the power. The only power... People when things have over us is the power we put in things and the power we give to people. That is the only power people have over us and things have over us. If we can put such things into control and stay disciplined, we will overcome anything. We will overcome certainly everything in this life. Yes, chosen one. What are you going through? What are you going through? You can certainly overcome it you will overcome it you will overcome it because god is with you the kind of power that god has given to you chosen one is not small it's, it's not something little don't say you don't have faith everybody has faith scripture says if you have faith just as little as the master seed you will say to that mountain be moved and it will move back your faith with action Put actions behind your feet and see what happens. If you are like, oh, I've been praying, I've been praying, I've been praying, 24 hours I've been praying. Yes, you can pray 24 hours and it will fuel and seem like nothing happened. You get tired, you become frustrated. Put in some action. One step at a time, just as I have said in the video. And see the magic. That happens. Right? You want to make money. Try. Make one dollar a day. And keep trying small, small, bit by bit. And you keep increasing it. You, you try yourself. You make, ten, you make uh, two dollars. You make three. You make four. Before you go to two, you must count one. You must pass through one. And that is how it grows. Bit by bit. Then you go to ten dollars. Then you keep going, going, going. Then you go to hundred dollars. Then going, going, going. Then, you know, two hundred. Then, you know, then you, you move to thousand. Then you keep going, 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 going. Then, 100,000, I mean, then you keep going, then millions, then you keep going. That is how it is, just someone. It's not just going to happen. Just like that. Remember, slow success builds character. Quick success builds ego. Yes. And it takes longer time to build 
a ship, big ship that will carry heavy things than building an ordinary canoe. Yes, and anything that you want in life that takes long to get it as you're putting in so much effort going the extra mile. You're putting in so much work to get it. Such thing is what is going to last long. Whatever comes quickly, so fast, is questionable. It never lasts. It never lasts long. And before you receive anything good, it must be tested. You must go through the test to see your commitment, to see the effort, the action. That you, do you, you truly want it to happen. You truly deserve it. Maybe you want healing. That healing that you want. Right? You pray, 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 pray. It's not happening. Keep putting some action behind it. Alright? Keep putting action behind it. Let's say you, 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 you want to lose weight. Alright? But you eat too much. Try and keep on. Delaying your, your, your gratification. Okay? Insta when you feel like opening the fridge to take some drink, to take something, you control yourself and you say no. Bit by bit, little by little, you'll realize you'll be able to, I mean, change your own self, change your own life. And at the end of the day, you realize it is not by your own power. So you give all the credit to God. It is God. It is true, only God. You And you yourself, you'll be shocked. You'll be astonished how great and powerful you are. If you are shocked of yourself, how much more your haters and your enemies, you will drive them so crazy. Yes, to someone. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.